All over the Cape and Islands, estuaries, rivers, waterways, and ponds are under threat. The culprit? Phosphates and nitrogen. About 80% of these nutrients come from septic systems leaching into the groundwater. The rest are delivered from above, from stormwater and fertilizers. The Barnstable Clean Water Coalition was established with a simple mission and purpose, to restore and preserve clean water throughout Cape Cod. Reducing nutrients at their source by means of water treatment and up-to-date sewage systems will ultimately be the best long-term solution to help minimize pollution. But smaller-scale biological approaches and models that could help in the process do in fact exist. Barnstable Clean Water Coalition is working on several approaches to intercept and treat this toxic water. And retired cranberry bogs are ideal locations that could offer just that opportunity. These bog areas were once natural wetland systems, which naturally controlled nitrogen and other nutrients in surrounding bodies of water. In late December of 2019, the Barnstable Clean Water Coalition, in partnership with the EPA and the Nature Conservancy, hosted its first annual restoration project workshop. Its goal was to align a private cranberry bog landowner with leading environmental scientists, researchers, town officials, and policymakers to transform the Marston's Mills cranberry bog back into wetlands, creating a natural nitrogen reduction system. The choice made to use the Marston's Mills Cranberry Bog as a model test area was very much intentional, as its location serves as a pass-through to three major bodies of water, all which are currently impaired with high levels of nutrients. Because these bogs exist in low spots, they're former wetlands, they're right along rivers, there's an opportunity to modify or restore uh, current cranberry bogs into natural wetlands that would have a much greater uh, uh, effectiveness at removing nitrogen from incoming groundwaters. Can we put a, a pond, a terminal pond, in this cranberry bog system to uh, operate again as a nitrogen reduction system? Can we modify the streams in a way to, to alter the carbon nitrogen cycle to enhance the removal of nitrogen as the water just passively flows across the surface? As it stands, the town of Barnstable has a sewer expansion plan which is approaching $1,000 per kilogram to remove nutrients from waterways and ponds. Here we have a chance to use a natural system, change the cranberry bogs potentially back to the wetlands that they were historically, and have nature do the work. If we can show that restored wetlands on retiring cranberry farms removes nitrogen that benefits the communities, in my view, maybe that helps us identify more resources to steer retiring farms and willing landowners down this path. Wetland reconstruction and engineering is one of the many projects in store for the future that could help reduce these projected costs. These biological systems, as well as alternative septic systems, wood chip trenches and others, all support and contribute to the reduction of nutrients in water systems and estuaries. For more information or how to become involved or support the Barnstable Clean Water Coalition, call or email us.